Happy Sabbath, boys and girls, and welcome to the primary Sabbath school class. Our lesson is entitled, From Sorrow to Joy. From Sorrow to Joy. How many of you are joyful, boys and girls? I know at times I'm very joyful and I'm happy too, but sometimes I get sad and sometimes I feel lonely. But what God promises us is this. When we're sad, he can bring us joy. And we're going to talk about in our Sabbath school lesson this week, someone in the Bible that Jesus was able to bring joy to. All right, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to learn more about you. Uh, we thank you for bringing us happiness. We thank you for taking care of us. And now as we go through this lesson study, we ask that we may feel your presence with us. In your son's name, we do pray, amen. From sorrow to joy. Let's start off by singing our good morning song. And this flower in front of us is so bright and beautiful this morning. So I hope that your singing this morning will be as bright and beautiful as this flower. Okay, let's start. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say we're happy, so happy to see you today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say we're happy, so happy to see you today. We're happy, so happy to see you today. Our memory verse for this lesson is coming from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 13. And it reads, I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. Now, boys and girls, this time I want you to read it with me. Let's go. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. So what this text is saying to us is that God will take that sadness and turn it into joy. Okay, so the song that we're going to sing today is entitled, Isn't He Wonderful? Right? God is wonderful. And we're going to sing about that this morning. All right, let's go. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard. It's recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Isn't he Wonderful, 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 isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's word, isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Boys and girls, indeed Jesus is wonderful. So, Walking along the dusty road, Jesus and his friends talked and laughed together. Nain lay before them, and the road was rough and rocky in places as it led to the little mountain village. Along the way, Jesus had been telling the people the good news of God's love for them, and he had been healing the sick that were brought his way. Nearing Nain, the happy group stopped. They were silenced by a sad sight leaving the city gate. As the procession came closer, Jesus and his friends were told that a widow woman had lost her only son. Jesus looked at the heartbroken mother. He knew that she was so sad that her son had died. He also knew that since her husband was dead, her son had been the only one who would take care of his mother. But now she would probably be left penniless 
and homeless. Walking over to her, Jesus gently said, don't cry. Then he turned toward the open coffin holding her son. The men carrying the coffin stopped when Jesus put his hand on it. Everyone waited expectantly to see what Jesus would do. Looking at the still body, Jesus said, young man, I tell you, get up. The strong voice of Jesus silenced the crying crowd, and suddenly the widow's son sat up and began to talk. Here is your son, Jesus said to the amazed woman. The woman and her son hugged each other tightly, while the sad tears of a few minutes earlier were changed to tears of joy. Those who saw what happened, were amazed and began to praise God. And the news of Jesus breaking up a funeral traveled far and wide. Perhaps people had never heard of such a thing, but those who were there saw it happen and they were quick to tell others. This was the first time that Jesus, while on earth, brought a dead person back to life. Jesus has the same kind of love for us that he showed to the widow and her son. She didn't ask for help from Jesus. Jesus saw her tears and her hurting heart. His love for her and concern for her suffering caused him to perform a miracle of life. Jesus turned her sorrow into joy. Jesus can turn our sorrow into joy too. He loves us. He loves every one of us and wants us to be happy. And he will turn many sorrows into joy when he comes again. At that time, he will bring many from the grave who gave their hearts to him before they died. What a day of joy that would be, boys and girls. Mothers and fathers and boys and girls will be together again to live with Jesus, to live with Jesus forever. Boys and girls, Jesus gives us his love today, just as he gave it to the people in Bible times. He wants to save us and turn our sorrows into joy. So let's say our message for this week or this lesson. Let's say it together. Jesus gives his love and grace freely. Again, Jesus gives his love and grace freely. We don't have to pay for it. We don't have to steal it. He gives it to us freely. And oh, boys and girls, that should make us feel all happy inside today, that Jesus freely gives his grace. He freely gives his love to us. Let's pray. Thank you, Father. Yes, you are wonderful. You turn our sadness into joy. You turn our despair into happiness. And we want to say today, thank you. Thank you for being just that type of God to us. You freely give your grace. You freely give your love. We ask that as we go throughout this day that your Holy Spirit may con continue to be with us. We thank you for increasing our knowledge and understanding of you and the love that you have for us. Now continue to keep us this day in your son's name. We do pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today. Until next week, keep growing, keep loving, and keep serving God sharing his free love and grace with others. Until next time, goodbye.